What is going on, Governors? Chiz School here. And holy moly, we're live streaming. It's the kill event. Mighty Governor Pit Bear just donated $2 to Super Chat. Hello to you. Thanks for that donation. Much appreciated. Well, we're off to a good start. Chat was exploding before this even started. That is hilarious. How's everybody doing? Wow, Freddy Games, JW D'Souza, Sean Jansen. Let me get into what we're going to talk about today. Um, first and foremost, we're going to show some reports from the kill event, which were pretty nuts. We're going to talk about some of those. Saxed, thanks for showing up and saying hello. Whoa, another $2 super chat from Pit Bear. Good luck in the kill event. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, King Talib was zeroing some cities. The kingdom had some feelings about that. Dropped a traitor title onto him. Oh my goodness. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. We're going to talk about kill event rules because I think that's an interesting topic. We're going to talk about uh n not moving to kingdom 75 but just going to the farm that we've got in kingdom 75 and getting that in a better position uh because we've got work to do there and then also we're gonna head over to chisco lives and spend some time over there too maybe toward the tail end of this maybe in the middle we'll do a bunch of crafting because we got a lot of gold and it can't come with us pit bear thanks again for the two dollar super chat much appreciated um, how awkward would it be if King Talib donates on this live stream? That would not be awkward. He's donated on this live stream before. <laughs> Where is King of Armenia? He's around. He's around. He's doing stuff. More about the screenshot, says the Hulk. Yes, indeed. So first of all, King Talib is a shark, all right? He's a shark. 478 million kills. That's a lot of kills, all right? A player like that, they got to feed. And, uh, yeah, King Dalib, during the kill event, needed some points. So he was running around zeroing cities. And you get a lot of points doing that. Right now, um, here's what our points are looking like. Here's what our points are looking like. Is this chocolate tea? No, this is just straight caffeine. This is a black tea. This is a black tea. King Talib is the ROK Reaper. I mean... So yesterday, around reset, um, King Talib was like just under my score, like just under it. And I think he purposefully stopped to like, I don't know, I think he was just being respectful of my score, which was pretty chill, actually. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to keep pushing up a little bit to make sure he's got room to push up and doesn't get knocked down. And I suppose he and I could always duel if we needed to. What? That's not a black tea. That's a... Tab tablia tablia anyways um tablet this is a tablet i got tau tau grats tony danny says zero him no, we're not zeroing to that's hilarious to um i'm pretty sure he's coming to the smash squad pretty sure he's coming to the smash squad looking forward to playing with him there let's see here if i just get my healing going i gotta keep this rolling we've burned through like 15 days plus worth of healing speed ups gaming skills bro says where's solomar we can show where solomar is and then i want to show some reports by the way uh i had somebody uh who threw their troops at my city and we'll make a separate video of that because i think i think we got we got some footage there here's solomar his power hasn't changed his kills haven't changed Nothing changed for him this kill event. Nothing changed this kill event. Hey, Chiz School, my kingdom failed in the KVK. King announced in the K event is free. I'm worrying they will zero me after KVK, but I don't have a passport. But I can't buy the new world. What can I do? Um, I mean, you gotta leave this. You gotta leave that kingdom if you're worried they're gonna zero you. That seems weird though. Like, why? Why do you think they're going to zero you? Pit Bear, what is the best city theme in your opinion? Thank you for the $2 donation. Pit Bear. Um, you know, the best city theme, I'll say this. A lot of folks focus on cavalry. So if you're going to focus on cavalry, you want a theme that's going to emphasize that while reducing the effectiveness of an army type that you're less concerned about. So this is always going to care. This is always going to matter most for like what you as a player are focused on. But with that said... Um, what do I think what are the better themes is? 
I, for a very long time, was using Sour's Song. That's because I'm boosting my cavalry's attack, their punchiness, uh, while reducing my archer's health, which was, you know, a, a unit I'm just not using that much on the battlefield. With the addition of Edward and my working on six-starring Edward, um, I think that that is a less advantageous skin for me. Right now, I'm rocking the... Age of Devotion, mostly because it's legendary. Um, during Ark of Osiris League, I was launching rallies with this and infantry specifically, so I thought it was pretty good for that. But um, overall, the, the key here is to focus on a skin that gives you a boost to the thing that you're doing while decreasing the thing you care less about. I will say that like they're really upping their game for the quality of these skins. This skin looks amazing. This Thanksgiving skin, not Thanksgiving, Halloween skin, is really pretty awesome, and sometimes I just rock this skin here just for nostalgia, baby, because it looks cool. In fact, I mean, boom, it just looks cool. It just looks cool. Hellblazer to Euro Super Chat. Should I use Bybar's Belisarius for Arc? Yeah, it's a, that's a mighty fine combo. That's a mighty fine combo. I might try Bybar's with Pelagius, but if you were carrying the arc, you'd want to use Belisarius as the primary, maybe a Bybars as the secondary. Instagram, much better than last year's, I agree. Um, yeah, man. This this skin is just amazing. This skin is just amazing. Um, okay, Chiskul. Hey, can you cover a quick Smash Squad update? Yes. We can do a Smash Squad update real quick. Um, right now, we're in the... Where, where, here we go. We're in the kill event portion of the Mighty Governor, if I can actually click. Um, this event ends in like eight hours or so. Um, when this event ends... Oh, hey, Super Chat. Kun Li... I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, Kun Li Wan, who I might also just call... Looks like you got a lion on there, so I'm going to call you... Can I just go with lion? The $2.29... Um, or a two dollar? No, it's not dollars. It's, it looks like it's euros. Uh, says, "Hey, Chiskul, cool. I know who Soleimar is in real person." Oh my goodness, we got a lion in the chat who knows Soleimar IRL. Okay, so how many jets does Soleimar own? One or five? How many jets does Sol Soleimar own? <laughs> okay, the Smash Squad update. So we're when the kill event ends. We're going to hang out still in this kingdom until we get a wheel event or a card king. And when one of those events happens, we're either going to max out card king and then migrate and then max out card king in the kingdom that we go to because I'm pretty sure it's going to have it in both kingdoms. Or if it's a wheel event, we're going to spin the wheel to 52 the first day. Um, you get the free spin and the 50% off spin. And, oh, I guess it's 62. We spin the 62 on the first day, and then in the second day, we're going to spin the 62 again, go to the new kingdom, and there should be a wheel there too, and we can get to 100 spins in the new kingdom too. So we're going to do that there. So that's that's why we're waiting for a wheel is to go to Value Town. We are trying to get to Value Town. Um, hi, Chiskul. I know who Chiskul is, real person. Interesting. Well, I don't know who you are, real person. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they changed the wheel rule when you migrate. You need to confirm that. Son of a gun! Did they change it? Did they change it? Should I have not said anything about that long ago? <laughs> uh, could be. Could be that I should have been silent about that. So if we head over to my favorites, here's where my city got attacked. Here is where my city got attacked. Where is your weak account located? Uh, we can show that. We will definitely show that in this stream. Um, this is pretty nuts. <laughs> this is pretty nuts. Uh, hey, Chiss, who's better, Pelagius or Bybars? I prefer Pelagius, but if what you're doing is a huge open field brawl where there's going to be a lot of people, like in the Ark of Osiris, when you're battling by the Temple of Osiris, then Bybars hitting so many targets is going to be advantageous. That said, I think Pelagius is the better commander overall. They're a garrison commander, which is incredibly valuable, rather than a commander that's hit cities, which, like, you're not going to use buy bars for that at all. Um, and also, you get really, really high single target damage, which I think can be valuable. I like the Rage Gen on Pelagius. That's part of an engine there. That's the fast-talking version of that answer. 
Let's look at these troops. Wow, it was an expertise to Alexander the Great. Good lord. Good lord. I mean... Jeez. Good lord. Hey, Chiskwell, I have an expertise Sun Tzu and Uyulji Mundok. I will have 5511 Charles Martel by next week. How shall I pair him? Expertise Sun Tzu and Uyulji Mundok and a 5511 Charles Martel. So um, I would pair Martel with Sun Tzu. Why did this person attack me? Uh, they said they were leaving the game and they wanted to give me a little gift in the kill event. So there we go. Uh-oh. Lion speaks again. Kun Lee Wan says, Solomar lives in Spain. Yes, have rent a car. Well, thank you for the 22 euro donation. Much appreciated. Woo! Bringing us the Solimar intel. Holy moly. I'm 14 million power. That means I'm an easy feed. That's what I'm worrying about. Well, that is true. Um, we'll show you my garrison commanders on Chiskuwa Lives, which is a six and a half, seven million power account, and how I've sort of tried to hedge against getting zeroed in that kingdom. Which, like, if it happens, it happens. There's not a lot I could do about that um, if I'm not watching closely. And um, at least I've got good garrison commanders, which hopefully can help you a little bit. So we'll we'll talk about that in a bit. We'll talk about that in a bit. When are you planning to do the video on Dev Feedback Channel? From the official Discord? Hmm. That's an interesting idea. Do a video on the dev feedback channel on the official Discord. That is an interesting idea. Let me show you some duels that I did during this kill event. And I think there's some interesting... There's some interesting implications, but like this is not perfect science, okay? Because we both were outside of our alliance, and we both were not trying to, like min max our gear or specs we're just kind of using what we had you know so this is not a perfect test um but i thought it was pretty interesting yisong yael sid just completely blew out of the water and this is like a classic combo here right this is old school cool um yisong yael sid just blew out of the water richard the first and alexander the great jared moles two dollar super chat my son noah says hello hey noah how's it going Hope you're having a good morning or evening wherever you are. Um, so we dueled here. Uh, the Alexander the Great's not expertise. Okay, well that explains it. He's pretty close, but not quite there. That's that's a piece of the puzzle. But this was pretty decisive, which I, I don't know. I thought that was kind of remarkable. Where is your farm from 1051? I'm not in 1051. King Salid, how's it going? Good to see you in the chat. Is Ethelflaed and Mehmed a good combo for destroying cities? Um, it might not be a bad combo. I've never used it before. Mehmed is amazing. Ethelflaed will get those attacks going really quickly. I do tend to think that you're probably better off with like a Saladin Mehmed the second, but it might be a fine combo. Can I show my achievements? Sure, we could do something like that. So um, the other thing we did, and let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find this report. I hope I favorited it. Hmm. I might not have. Well, that's a bummer. Hold on. Do we have a report in here with feud? Do we have a report? We've got all these barb reports. Dauntless Lohars, barbs. Here it is. Haha. -ha. I knew I had done it. So we did a rematch. And it was him using the same thing, but now I brought my Edward of Woodstock. Now, my Edward of Woodstock is not expertise, okay? So this is all, like, not perfect science. Um, if my Edward of Woodstock had been expertise as the secondary, it looks like it would have done, like, maybe as well. It may be as well. Maybe a little better than El Cid. But it's not, like, game-breakingly different, it would seem. Right here it did worse because it's not expertise. But I thought that was kind of an interesting... Uh, comparison point there. There's a couple other duels we did. Um, we tested around. Now, this was really interesting. We tested around with Saladin primary versus Khan primary. Um, and we had a couple reports from doing that. And what we found is that actually the Khan primary was much more powerful. 
Khan primary turned out to be a more powerful primary than a Saladin primary. Now, with that said, when would a Saladin primary maybe be better? I would argue that if you're launching like a rally, that a Saladin primary might be more appropriate because he's got some anti-swarm technology and his, pardon me, skills that you wouldn't need as much in a one-on-one -on -one duel, but you would benefit pretty profoundly in a situation where you're rallying something and you might get swarmed. Um, folks are asking, where's King Talib? Hashtag Talib Watch. He's currently here. Will he stay here? Who knows? All right, my achievements. My achievements. I mean, we have some work to do here. Um, we're pretty... Actually, wow. All right, well, this achievement progress is pretty good. Engineer. What do we even have left? What do we even have left in our achievements? Ah, resource gathering. Interesting. Solimar has a rental car company. Says Lion. Kun Lee Wan. Solimar has a rental car company. So you're saying he may not own a jet, but he has fleets of cars. Noted. Land of milk and honey. Gathering 7 billion resources. That's a lot of resources. All right. Worlds. Ah, Jonathan Panugua donated $2. Isn't Edward good as a primary, not a secondary? He is good as a primary. I don't have him leveled up enough to run that test with him as a primary. I don't have him leveled up enough. Obtain 1 million individual credits from Alliance Flag Construction. Oh, we'll get that pretty soon. We're pretty close to that. Um, whoopsies. So th that's where our achievements are looking. We won't go into every single one there. That would be a lot to do. Hey, Chess, which is better, Pelagius and Belisarius all expertise or Pelagius and Bybars all expertise? Probably, I mean, I like Pelagius and Bybars. Your Minamoto is 5512. Oh, five, I think Minamoto should be weaved in there. It's probably better. Um, I would use against single targets Minamoto with, um, Pelagius, and against multiple targets, probably Bybars and Minamoto. Yeah, I think I said that correctly. I think I said Pelagius and Minamoto for single target, multiple targets, Bybars and Minamoto. Anyways, who's a better garrison, Sun Tzu or Kusunoki? Sun Tzu is the pick for garrison. Sun Tzu is your pick. Speaking of which, we have some crafting we need to do. Now... We've got two of these patterns for a Staff of the Lost. What I'd like to do is to try to get the Infantry Special Talent on the Staff of the Lost. Now, to do that, we first need to dismantle the Staff of the Lost where we have it. So we're going to hit Dismantle on the Staff of the Lost. Confirm. We get all our materials back. And this is a pattern that we're getting from Sunset Canyon. So we get a lot of this pattern. Now we can go in and attempt to forge it again. We're hoping, again, for infantry special talent. If we can get it, here we go. Yes! Woo! <laughs> cool. Sweet. So the reason we're doing infantry is we have this piece of gear on Alexander the Great, and our garrison commander right now is an infantry garrison commander. So we would want to put this onto Martel, who's our primary garrison commander right now, um, if we thought our city was going to be sieged. So let's hit confirm here. Infantry special talent. Look at that. One and a half percent of extra infantry defense and archer defense, which is really good. We're looking at a full one percent of cavalry defense, which is solid. This is a really solid pickup. Um, the extra stats for like the two million gold that that just cost me is so worth. It cost me more like 10 million gold. If you factor in all the times that we um, had attempted to craft this thing. But this is great. We're going to hit confirm. Boom. There we go. Special talent for infantry. And let's we'll go, I don't know, craft some more stuff over here. Let's go drop this back onto Alexander the Great. He's looking real good right now. All right, we'll hit equip. He's looking pretty good here. A lot of good gear on him. Um, oh, Smash Squad update. Right. So we're planning to migrate after there's a wheel event. In the worst case... In the worst case, we will uh, figure out whether or not that wheel works the way it does, and you can migrate that way and get the benefit of the wheel event. 
Whoa, Lion speaks again. Kun Lee Wan with the five dollar and fifty euro. Oh, I guess five euro and fifty. They're not cents. Wait, what are they? Oh my gosh, I'm feeling like a noob. Five fifty euros. <laughs> Says Solomar sold his company two years ago, 350 million euros. Really? That's a pretty good exit. That is a pretty good exit. Can I get in on that? How do I get in on that action? That's amazing. Is Smash Squad and your new kingdom looking for veteran players? We have infinite space for players under 35 million. We probably will have infinite space for players under 40 million. Um, we'll know after folks have migrated into the kingdom, which should happen midweek coming up, where that has happened. Can you ask Lion, what is the name of the company? I don't know. That might be too personal. That already is a lot of information. That already is a lot of information. Um, do they work together, Alexander and Charles? What about their shields? So when I was dueling with Alexander and Charles, what I found is that the shield would be extinguished even from normal attacks prior to um, the shield from the secondary commander popping. That seemed to be happening. So I would basically be shielded for a turn, not take any damage, then take a little bit of damage, then the shield would pop for the next one, take no damage, and then take a little bit of damage. So I don't know. Um, that, that also seems really underpowered. Let's go look at the report, I guess, and see if we can figure that out. And I don't want to spend too much time on this because that could get kind of it could get kind of boring. Let's see here. Do I have a report? I thought I had a report with infantry. I could have swore I had a report with infantry. I guess I don't. Well, just kidding. I'll have to figure that out later. I definitely did do some duels like that. Weird. Super weird. All right, well, it's what it is. What happened to Talib? Right now he's bubbled. Right now he's bubbled. But, uh, you know, anytime he can show up and get right back into the action. Ethel Flood Joan combo. Is it worth to have healing damage talents or better to put them in leadership? You know, that's a great question. So if we're looking at Ethel Flood. I think you're talking about these talents over here, counterattack. So if we do the math on that, um, there's a 10% chance from a normal attack that Joan of Arc is going to trigger a heal. So that means that for three of every 10 seconds, you will have 9% extra damage. Three of every 10 seconds, you will have 9% extra damage. So is that kind of like a, it's a small damage boost, but like not, not game changing, right? Like it's like a 3% damage boost overall. It's not the worst. It's extra damage. I don't know. I'd have to actually do the math. Doing this off the top of my head is probably not the best. Um, but I'll just point out that for fewer points, if that is, if, I, if my napkin math is right, that it's about 3% lift then, like, you could just get armed to the teeth or armored to the teeth, which you might have been on your way to do anyways, and that has the same effect. But if you had extra points, you could pick it up. It's only four points to get there. I don't know. That's a direction I could potentially go, although I don't think I'll have enough points. What's the best secondary for Boudica? Here's the magic about Boudica. Is she, you could use whatever you want. I like Pelagius because Pelagius is going to generate rage, and that's a really great engine. I also like Sun Tzu, so both of those would be good. Chiskul, there's a dude with 413 million power named Character T. That's insane. That's insane. Is Sun Tzu Richard and support from Joan Ethel good in the open field? Yes. Yes, it is. Is it worth coming over to your kingdom if I have 10 million power um, from Nico? Um, you could. You're going to have a hard time getting into one of the Zone 3 alliances. So you might want to hang out where you are and power up a little bit. Um, coming to our kingdom means you're going to be signing up for some pretty intense wars. It also means you're going to skip all the commanders and mighty governor events 
in between wherever your kingdom is now and where our kingdom will be. So just go kind of eyes wide open into that choice that there's a bunch of commanders that you will be outright skipping um, by making that choice. That also means, however, you will get access to the newer commanders sooner, which is not the worst either. Some of these newer commanders seem to be more powerful than the older commanders. So that's not the worst choice. That's not the worst choice. Boom. Nice. Now, Chad, I'm, I'm really torn. I'm really, really torn. I can craft an abyssal visage. I have the materials to do it. It doesn't look like it. If I were to get the special talent, technically this is currently the best cavalry helmet in the game. I could go cavalry. And that would be pretty cool, right? That would be pretty cool. It'd be good for cavalry. Um, and I would probably put this onto a cavalry commander. But the infantry attack and the archer attack, there's no benefit to put it on a commander like Khan. Whereas like a leadership commander, for instance, if I had Wu Zetian, I would snap this off and do leadership if I got the special talent, right? Um, leadership would be really good. Leadership would be like a best case scenario because all those troop types are going to benefit. It's tempting to just snap off leadership. Um, in this case, by the way, we're looking at a 1% lift to archer attack, a 1% lift to infantry attack, and I think it will be a 1.5% lift to cavalry attack because they deal in half percents and like it rounds up, which is kind of cool. I think it rounds up. I think it would round up. Wait for VIP 16 equipment? Can Khan win versus Alexander? Mm, depends who the secondaries are. Have you ever imagined yourself getting bored of this game? I just really enjoy the collection aspect, honestly. Maybe, but it, I don't I don't know about that. I, I, I really enjoy it, and devs are committed to adding new content, so I just don't see that anytime soon. Should Garrison be added for the special talent? Um, no, and the reason is that the special talent is always the tree in the top. It's, it's this red tree over here. Are you taking players with 29 million power? We are taking players with 29 million power to this to the kingdom that Smash Squad is in, um, but you're not going to be in the Ark of Osiris League team, just to be clear. Um, and you are unlikely to even be in the alliance with the Smash Squad, although during KVK we're going to run around between all the alliances anyways, so that's less of a big deal. Is there a chance of winning with T4 against T5 from Kun Li Wan, the lion? So thank you for that donation. I do really appreciate it. Um, if you're going to win T4 versus T5, you've got to have better commanders and you've got to be countering what they're doing. So for instance, if they bring archers and you bring T4 and you're using like, well, and you're using legendary commanders too, um, assuming well, there's a couple things going on. When you say, does T4 have a chance, does that mean that you have T4 technology as well? Or do you also have like all the stats leading up to T5? There's a lot going into it. But, but what I'll say is this. If you're going to beat them, you need to bring the counter type for whatever unit they have. And you also need to have really powerful commanders. Um, if you're using an army expansion and they're not, that can be really helpful. Um, you want to have a rune. You want to use a buff. You know, right now I've got just a 5% buff rocking. Looks like that's about to expire, so I should just go in and extend that a little bit. I'll put an attack buff on. There we go. So hopefully that helps. Like, you can win, right? If you're on alliance, your own alliance territory and they're not, that's pretty good. Hey, what did King Talib do? <laughs> King Talib was zeroing cities, which is against the rules in our kill event. Um, he was swarming them. It is a good way to get a lot of points. You will have some amount of troops die, but if you use siege units that you might not have cared about anyways, like, is that really such a bad trade? I don't think so. Chiss, can you show your five marches? So my five marches, I've changed this around, and I don't know exactly what I want to use. What I'll say is this. Um, I am often using an Ethelfled Barca for debuffs as a part of a murder ball. I do find myself often using infantry with Alexander the Great and Sun Tzu for buffing and debuffing. Um, I'm, I'm, 
considering just breaking up that combination because um, then I can't really use Richard and Charles. And the problem with a murder ball is that if you have one army that's really high DPS but very squishy, like if I was to bring, um, let's say, Minamoto and Cao Cao, like they'll, they'll kill my Minamoto and Cao Cao first. And so having a really tanky army like a Richard and Charles is actually bad for me. I need all five armies to be as high DPS and as glass cannon as my weakest army so that it can protect them, right? I need to be able to protect my weakest army, and I do that by having all my armies be high DPS. So I haven't figured out exactly what that combination would look like. I know I would I would use Barca and Ethelfled. I know I would use um, Khan and Saladin. I know I would use Alexander the Great and probably... Probably Sun Tzu. Probably Sun Tzu. I'm tempted to use Joan of Arc with like a Sun Tzu as well. Um, I don't know. And probably an Yi Song Ye with either Edward or Sid. That seems pretty good too. What's a good epic pair for Khan? Pelagius. Snap off Pelagius. You could use Bybars bars if you want the AoE. My first KVK starts in a few days. Can I have some advice? Uh, save up resources. Save up those resources. You're going to need them. Any chance that whales like you can be spread out through the top alliances in the Smash Squad kingdoms? Helps us weaker players out a lot. Um, we will spread out. We will spread out during KVK for sure. Um, let's do this. We, ooh, Lion, Kun Li Wan, uh, another 229 euro super chat. Best commander for defending against city rallies. So the very best in the game is Wu Zetian, hands down. After that, it's a little more up in the air. Um, Richard and Charles would be really good against a single rally, although you're going to have a lot of troops end up in your hospital. You might even max out your hospital from all the healing that you're doing with Richard the First. I've used Charles Martel and Ison Ye on my wall, and that's what I'm currently using for perspective. Let's do this. Let's throw Richard up. Ye old spend a blocker. And let's go max purchase this bundle. That's a thing we've been waiting to do for a while. Let's do this before we forget. Congratulations again to OV, winners of the Ark of Osiris League. Boom. All right, we've purchased this once. And now we do it again. <laughs> Here we go. OV bundle. Getting those speed ups. All right, we've done it again. And one final purchase of the OV bundle. Getting all those gems so that later on in the week we could double spin a wheel. All right. And we'll take the spend blocker down. Boom. Max purchased. So um, there it is. Uh, well, I don't think we need to. Well, I do want to favorite one of these so I have a record of it. Um, although I have that other places too. Let's go in. Let's open these gold chests. We want speed ups. I've never used one of those deception-y things. Um, 10 silver keys is less than amazing. And 10 more silver keys is also less than amazing. Um, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. We got to make sure we're donating to the alliance skills and... Now what do we want to do? Now what do we want to do? I kind of want to craft, but I also kind of don't want to craft. It's a weird situation, you know? It's a weird situation because I'm like hanging on to make this helmet. And I got to go back to chat and see, did you all say, what should I do with this thing? Should I do leadership? Should I do infantry because I have infantry? What, what should I do here? Should I do cavalry because it's going to probably go on a cavalry commander? I don't know. I do not know. Can you give a glass cannon commander for epics? Um, 
Good morning, George Corcus. Welcome to the stream. Glass Cannon Commander for Epics would be a commander like Boudica. Boudica is a glass cannon. No defensive capability, all offensive punch. Um, I guess she does have some healing, but she's still a glass cannon. Because those healing is not defensive capability, if that makes any sense. Like, it kind of is, but not really. Like, I'm talking, like, defensive stats to make you more tanky. Health, defense, or even, like, damage reduction is really, really good. Boudica primary, Ethel Flood secondary with archers and infantry. Is it good? I would prefer to use Ethel Flood as the primary in that configuration for the support tree. Osmond's a good glass cannon. Although he... Osmond's a good... He's not exactly a glass cannon, but he sort of is. He also doesn't have more defensive capability, but he lets you bring more troops, which is kind of the equivalent. Um, so what I'd love to do is to be able to craft another one of these. Although I kind of need these rocks. I need these rocks in order to make the helmet I was interested in making here. I need a lot of those rocks. So I don't know. Kind of torn there. Which commander works well with Saladin Minamoto? Greetings from Egypt. Wow. Hello, Egypt. Hello in Egypt. Also, we're really close to being able to make Golden Age. This looks insane. This looks insane. I mean, like, I could do the Archer Special Talent here. Archer Special Talent would be good, but it could be, like, a weapon like this is just meant for Leadership Special Talents. I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn on that one. We also could make a bunch of these pants. We might have enough feathers. We probably don't have enough cloth, actually. Can we use Osman as a first commander for PvP? You can. I would prefer to use, like, Pelagius primary with Osman secondary. That seems really good. Best commanders for an all-cavalry free-to-play march? Um, Pelagius by bars or Pelagius and uh, Osman or Pelagius and Boudica? All really good. Or Pelagius and Sun Tzu, honestly. Um, my Minamoto is 3223. Three. Ouch. Is he good or did I ruin him? Well, you kind of want to max that first skill. A B to Beast! What's going on, my friend? Asking what's up with King Talib. King Talib's hanging out right now. He's got a peace shield on. He went on a little bit of a rampage. Zeroed like 10 cities. <laughs> Zeroed like 10 cities. And uh, he's currently sitting at rank 2 in the kill event. Currently sitting at rank two in the kill event. Hello from Israel. Hello, Invisible Star. Wow, Israel, very cool. I love Israel. I love Israel. Such a cool country. It is such a cool country. I've been a couple times, and it is just an amazing place. Hey, Chiskel, what are your top five favorite legendary commanders? Oh, boy. Should I spend $200 on Minamoto? That's a tough question. That's a tough question. It is a good commander. You will use him for a long time. I still use him. Um, my favorite legendary commanders? I mean, I some of my favorites include Khan, Yi Song Ye, and Alexander the Great. Those are my like three favorites, followed probably by Ethelflaed. Let's do this. Let's head over to my Chiskul Mini. This is my farm um, in Wolf. Why is Talib zeroing? Uh, for kill event points. Naturally. Gotta get those KE points, baby. Gotta get those KE points. Chiz cool. Oh, boy. So many chats. Oh, my gosh. After the Richard Wheel, about 33 days. Oh, lost it. 33 days in a kingdom. Isn't Yi Song Ye next? And around what day do you know? I think it's around day 90. I think Yi Song Ye is like a day 90 thing. All right. So we're going to go in and train up these Samurais. That seems good. Now, we need to improve our commander situation here. We need to improve our commander situation in our mini. There's a lot of stuff we needed to do here. Holy jeez. Holy jeez. All right, a lot, lot going on. Chiskul, would you like a third season of KVK or another event? Uh, No, third season of KVK sounds amazing. I am really eager for KVK right now, actually. I cannot wait. I'm getting really stir-crazy waiting for KVK. The first time they had downtime between the first and second KVK, I was like, man, it was so fast. 
And now I'm like, no, this cannot, this could not come fast enough. It would be amazing to get that next KVK lined up. Uh, what country do you live in? We are in the USA. We are in the USA. Okay, we need to open these gold keys. We definitely need to open these gold keys before we invest in commanders. And by the way, the commanders that I want to invest in here, hello, am I late? Never too late. The best, the next best time is now, right? Um, what I'd like to do is be able to work toward expertise in Boudicca, work toward expertise in Joan of Arc, work toward ex expertise in Belisarius. Um, I'd like to get toward that on this account. And before I go use a bunch of universals, and I think Joan of Arc would be the first one I would do, um, I want to go in and first use my gold keys. So let's start to burn these gold keys. And when we get to down to like 200 keys, or maybe like 201 keys, ooh, two Sundok is really good. When we're down to 201 keys, we're going to hit open all and see how it goes. That's the game plan. Any news on when season three might start? The only thing I have is rumor. And I have rumor that it's December. That's the rumor I heard. December is when that's happening. Who's the next commander after Yi Song Ye? Hmm, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure Cao Cao showed up on the wheel a little bit. I'm pretty sure that was a thing. Could you answer this? That, wait. If you could answer this, that would be amazing. How does the kingdom enforce kill event rules? So, I mean, like, they might try to rally King to leave, but it doesn't look like that's happening. So, like, I, some of these rules are hard to reinforce, and if someone's leaving the kingdom, like, I don't know, they could just leave. They could do what they want and then peace out. Did you miss the fun? No, we still got fun. We definitely still have fun. Attila and Takeda, which is good to invest in? That's a great question. I'm cautiously optimistic about Attila, but... Actually, sorry, let me say that differently. I'm cautiously optimistic about Takeda. I think um, Attila could be really, really, really good, and I see why that would be true. Ooh, side quest and large... Enlarged army is good. Mehmed the second sculpture is looking good. We haven't unlocked him yet because we, if we do decide to play this account, we might actually just buy the, um, buy the bundles. All right. 201 keys. Just do open all. Gaming skills, bro. Well, we did reach 201 keys. It's time to do it. Do you think Wu plus Constantine will be good against Attila in a rally or flat... Hmm, flag. An interesting question. Um, really, Attila and Takeda are a counter to Wu Zetian, which is pretty fascinating. Let's rip this thing. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Chis, why don't I see you and anyone using Charlemagne? Is he that bad? He's just so specific to hitting cities that, like, it's just not that important of act in an activity to spend your universal legendary commander sculptures on him. Meanwhile, like, Wu Zetian is, like, literal slam dunk best garrison commander in the game. It's not even close. So I have some kind of strong feelings about the availability of a commander like that um, being restricted. So, bunch of good sculptures here. Only eight sculptures of Boudicca, which is fine. 17 of Joan of Arc is good. That is good. 30 of Sun Tzu. We have him expertised already, so that's fine. Um, Osman's great. Bybars is good. Oh, wow. Four full Boudicca's is really, really good. We have, it's really, really good. Instagram has Charlemagne up to 60 now. How's that going? How, how are you liking her? Or him, rather. Um, we got four full Kusunokis, which is a bummer because we have him expertise. No full Joan of Arcs. Wow. All right, so we got nine Mehmed II, 10 Sundok, 13 Cleo, and four El Cid. And, oh, wow. That's less than amazing. All of that and all of that, and we got only two full legendaries. I think that's under that's under the curve for goodness, isn't it? That's a little under the curve for goodness. Well, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, all right. Minamoto is restricted, and he's one of the best commanders in the game. Well, 
I don't know if I'd say he's one of the best commanders in the game. Like, he's good. I don't think he's that good. I know, right, George? Pretty awful for 200 keys, right? 201 keys, in fact. That was less than amazing. Uh, let's go see where we can actually skill some of these commanders up. Let's go see what we got here. Charles Martel, we can drop a skill onto him. That's cool. We might be at the point where we could use him as a garrison commander and that it would be better than... I'm actually... I don't know, chat. What do you think? What do you think? Should I star up Charles Martel or should I use Kusunoki as a secondary to Sun Tzu? Are we at the point where we should just use Charles Martel? Is this good enough? Five, three, and go one, one. Is that good enough? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, we can get a skill on Sundok. That's really, really good. This is really, really good. Do you think that Lilith should add more epic commanders? I think it'd be nice. Ugh, gross. That did not go where we wanted, fam. Charles' defense is much better. 5-5-1-1. Five, five, one, one. You think Georgia should get two more skills on there before I proceed? Someone says, no, don't use him with Sun Tzu. Uh, we can put another skill on Freddy. That's cool. All right, we maxed the first skill here. That's good. What else we got? Boudica. Get a skill on her. Excellent. Continuing on. We get a skill over here. Nice. All right. Belisarius is in a good place. Uh, Pelagius. Um... I might wait till he levels up anymore. Hey, Tama Tuine, welcome to the channel as a member. Really appreciate your becoming a member. Uh, your ongoing support means a lot to me, and now your name will show up a different color in chat, and that way I will be much more likely to see it when you're chatting. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, Osman, yeah, see, I'm waiting to level him up a bit too. All right. Well, that's where we're at. There's some commanders here that I really, I really should have unlocked Saladin. I really should have unlocked Khan on this. I really should have unlocked Edward. I don't know what I was doing here. One sculpture off. Give me a break, Chiskul. What were you thinking? Oh my gosh. There's things we could have done better there. There's definitely things we could have done better. But now let's invest in these commanders. What I'd like to do is first and foremost expertise Joan of Arc. Because she is amazing. And if I were using this commander more, um, I would probably use Joan of Arc as a primary. Uh, so let's go ahead and expertise this commander. Boom. And we're using all these universals. We've had these for a while. There we go. Boom. You know what I should have done? You know what I should have done? I have a lot of silver keys, don't I? Should I have just opened all those silver keys? Eh. I don't know. How do I become a member? Um, there's an option if you're using your browser to become a member of the channel. That means you're donating $5 a month uh, to the channel, which is amazing and much appreciated. Uh, and that is how you get a different color to your name. And that badge that shows up ne next to your name evolves over time. I didn't click the expertise button. Slick catch. Slick catch there, chat nicely done let's expertise her <laughs> whoops whoopsies hey chess school long time no see how's it been good to see you connor shipman it has been a while let's go in and expertise Boudica. 29 sculptures over here and then 40 sculptures and then 50 sculptures and we still have enough sculptures here that if we wanted, we could expertise a new epic the second it comes into the game, which is really good. So I think we might stop there to make sure that we can, in fact, do that. Um, that will make it easier when we're battling in the open field, which is good. I could invest in Charles Martel and put some universals on him, but I haven't, I haven't put my legendary universals anywhere in this account yet, so I'm just going to keep hanging on. I'm just going to keep hanging on for now. And I feel pretty good about that. I do, however, need to spend some action points. I love that they're battling forts, but let's just let's just run around. They removed the max when converting universal sculptures. Thank goodness they did that. Why did you use universals with so many keys? The silver keys, you barely get any epic heads. You barely get any epic heads with those. So I'm not too worried about that. 
I'm definitely not too worried about that. Is it best to save 200 keys or to use them freely? Um, you can use them freely, honestly. You don't need to save. There is an achievement for doing 200 keys. I always did 201 just to make sure. But um, you, it, once you've done that achievement for opening 200 gold keys simultaneously, you're good to go. You're good to go. How did you get a lot of universal epic sculptures? Every day when you complete this quest, um, based on your city hall level, you get universal epic commander sculptures. That's how I get a bunch of those. That is where those come from. That is where those come from. Herman versus Kusunoki, which is better? I like that uh, Herman has march speed for the open field. I like that Herman has a way to generate rage in the fourth skill. I kind of prefer Herman, honestly. I prefer Herman, even though Kusunoki has AoE, which is pretty good. And the stats are really good, too. What's your advice for a low spender? Khan or Saladin? I want one of them. I got 250 legendary sculptures. Hmm. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, the advantage of going with Khan is that you can get it to 5-5, five, five, and then you could go 1-1. One, one. And then any extra skills you get in there are just gravy. The thing about Saladin is that you want to max the first skill. Then you want to max the second skill. Then you want to max the third skill. Um, probably in that order. You certainly want to max the first three skills before you unlock the fourth skill, which is related to hitting cities. So my recommendation there would be um, that if you want this commander to be a primary commander, which you definitely would with Khan, um, then Khan is a better play. If what you're looking for is a secondary commander and you want to make your cavalry more tanky, which is rare to find, and, and for that reason, I actually think, hmm, I think I'm talking myself more and more into Saladin being a better pick because that's just hard to come by, making cavalry more tanky. Do you think King of Armenia has the best city design? Um, I haven't looked at his city design in a really long time. That's a great question. Couldn't tell you right now. I do remember it being pretty slick, though. I do remember it being pretty slick. Ooh, wait a minute. New patch. Download time, baby. Download time for a new patch. All right. It's happening, fam. It's all happening. They have to add a new commander category stronger than legendary mythic with a different color. I don't know. At some point, I do think, like, you saw my video about conquering commanders. I do think they should revisit that. I feel like conquering commanders should be a little stronger. When is the power of matchmaking of kingdoms for KVK done? Good question. When are kingdoms matched for the next KVK? I don't know when that happens. I'd like to think that all of the Imperium kingdoms are likely to battle against each other. I'd like to think that all of the Imperium kingdoms are going to battle against each other, which is a part of the reason why I think it's really advantageous to stay out of Imperium. Which is why with Smash Squad, we're going to try to do that. So again, with Smash Squad, if you're less than 35 million power, you can migrate to the kingdom now. You're not going to get into the alliance that the Smash Squad is in, but um, you can get into one of the other alliances in the kingdom. And uh, from there, we'll jump around. You know, folks from the Smash Squad are going to be all over the place during KVK, switching between alliances. Arch1270 says, hey, Chiskel, what's up? Vijit Das says, hey, Chiskel, how's it going? Big Noso says, lag, huh? Lag? Is there lag? Is it better focus on El Cid or Edward for a semi-free-to-play player? Hmm. That's a really interesting question. I think Edward is probably a better commander. Edward is a better commander. Most people don't even use conquering commanders to hit cities. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Conquering, I think, could use a little love. Could use a little love. I mean, I like that cities are, are like, you can protect yourself, you know? Like, I think it should be e easier to protect yourself in a lot of ways. Um, otherwise, like, you're super vulnerable, which is kind of weird. Why don't I just open the silver chest? I just keep hoping they're going to put something good in a silver chest. Hasn't happened yet. Maybe that's just uh, wishful thinking. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. So um, there we go. We got more gold keys to open. That's cool. Just fire those up real quick. Wow, four more gold keys. That was fast. 
Berries, what's going on? Ooh, three Sundocks, good. Gold star is good. Hey, well, there's there's a full commander. Took a while. We only had to open 200 plus gold keys to get the third one of those. But that's good. Full unlock of Caesar. Can we put a skill on him now? Can we? We can. Sweet. Look at that. All right. King to Lib zero Zeroing Cities. I missed it. Hope you make a video soon. Um, we don't have his zeroing cities on camera. Uh, we were at work when that was happening, but it definitely did happen. That definitely happened. Let's, uh, whoopsies, claim some of these rewards here. Boom. We didn't buy the bundle um, on this account, so I don't know if that's a mistake, but we didn't, we didn't buy this on this account. On our farm, we did not do that. Uh, before we go, we here's my garrison. I promised I would do this. Here's my garrison in my farm account. We're using Sun Tzu and Kusunoki in case they try to swarm it. That's what we're up to. What I'd like to do is just showcase my gear a little bit on Sun Tzu. And I think there's an opportunity here to craft some gear. We have been doing some amount of Sunset Canyon. And I'd like to make something better than the Sharp Longsword feel like that'd be really good to do so let's go in and see if we can pull that off if we go into the blacksmith and we know that we're going to want to make this over here we need to combine wood feathers and stone we need 60 30 and 20 let's see if we can pull that off i don't i don't know if we can um let's see here we've got 10 of these magic boxes we've got the bone necklaces and we, wow look at this 116 treasure of the warrior 116 of these treasure of the warrior well let's open that up how's this gonna go Woo! 55 graves of the exile nine cloud racer blueprints that's decent 29 staff of the lost six golden age golden age is hard to come by golden age is really hard to come by Which one is better to focus, infantry, cavalry, or archers? Should I max out all the tech before getting T5? I think cavalry is a really good focus. I think cavalry is a really good focus. I do think you should get the value thresholds for all the other stats that are available to you for each of the other types of troops. Um, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, oh, we have 88 of these. Oh, we opened these Treasures of the Warrior Queen? I know, I guess I was saving these for a live stream. And it's a live stream, so let's do it. 29 Ethelfled, a gold key, and look at that. Six epic commander sculptures. Who knew? All right, so let's go over here. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Actually, it is. Wow. Look at all these advanced materials crates. Holy moly. We should open these. This will help. This will definitely help, and this will help. That'll definitely help. Let's let's see if we can craft this thing. Let's see if we can craft this thing. Uh, we got to do some combining. Oh, wow. Including combining of blueprints. One of those. One of these. Two of those. Nice. Okay. We need to combine... This is breaking things. We need to combine a bunch of wood. We need 30 feathers. The feathers I feel pretty good about, actually. Right? So we're at 13. I don't think I want to hit max. I don't think I want to hit max. Um, we need nine more. This seems doable. All right. And we'll go over here. We need four more. Awesome. All right. One, two, three, and four. Cool. So we have the feathers. We were definitely good there. Do we have enough wood is an interesting question. I think we will have enough wood. So there's 10. We need to get to 60, which is kind of nuts. Also, look at all these quests we're completing. This is kind of amazing. Uh, I think we're going to have enough here. we got to get to 60? Wow. Okay. Well, this is, this is going to be a lot of doing. Holy cheese. Did not think this was going to be such a big deal. All right. And then we go over here. Combine, we'll hit max. 65. All right, we went a little over the top. We went at that little, little bit of a mistake there, but it's fine. This is my farm account, so like, how much does this really matter? 
speaking of being a farm account, we definitely need to send out the gatherers. I'm not even going to pay attention to what I'm gathering, but what I should be gathering is gold. What I should be gathering is gold. There we go. All right, those go gather. Now we need to craft. And what we're going to do is hope that we get the infantry special talent. Oh, wait, we forgot to do stone. We need 20 stone. All right, more combining to do. More combining to do. Stone. All right, we'll hit max here. We're at 14. This is good. All right. And we'll switch over. There's the 20 stem. All right, now we can craft. Finally, we can craft. This uses up gold. So I have mixed feelings about like crafting this until we get the expertise skill. That's probably not, or not the expertise skill, the special talent. That's probably not worth it to us. But it is definitely worth it to go in and at least craft this at all. So here we go. We optimally will get the special talent, and we would go infantry if we did. No special talent. That's okay. Let's head over here and equip this bad boy, making our city, uh, you know, one step more defensible. There we go. Berries, thanks for the positive feedback. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Can we get a Smash Squad update? Um, so this is the kingdom with the Smash Squad in it uh, that we're in. And we are in the alliance that has the Smash Squad. Uh, folks are migrating over after their Mighty Governor events, after winning a bunch of sculptures. There are a bunch of folks here already. Groggy, Sterling, Bujan, Woody Wood, Honey Badger, Chuck, uh, Maximus, Long May He Reign, Festool, Death Squad Mini. I didn't see him come over, but that's awesome. Death Squad made it in. Yeah. Meatwad is here. I mean, this is a crazy good crew. Uh, this is a crazy good look. Expanse made it in. Nice. This is a crazy good crew. And this is just the beginnings. This is just the beginnings. George Kirkus on his way. December 8th. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This will be good. This will be good. We got stuff to do, baby. We got stuff to do. So that's that's where we're at. If you want to come to the kingdom... Oh, by the way, look at all this. Holy moly. Combining materials. We get a bunch of goodies for doing that. 10, 15, 20, 25. Forging elite equipment. Combining elite quality material. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 50, 100, 150. Wow. 200 equipment materials, 250, 300, 400. Wow. All right. And now we can go in and do some of this too. Holy jeez. We can combine some of these and we can combine these and these. Ooh, a donation. Holy moly. I've never seen a sticker in a super chat. George Corcus, $5 hype. <laughs> That's a hippo cheering hype in a super chat i have never seen that before i did not even know that was a thing i did not even know that was a thing <laughs> uh george corcus uh is greek cool nice and saxed is greek nice oh my gosh should i max spin alexander to pair with richard if so max richard richard and alexander are fine but not amazing let's look at alexander the great real quick let's look at alexander the great real quick we got to talk about that where you at alexander the great where you at buddy right in front of my face i'm pretty sure there he is lion kun lee Wan says who won the last kvk in your kingdom i do not know who won the last kvk with kingdom 75 i do not know um we did not win KVK with Kingdom 39. So this skill over here... Oh, no, I guess we're good. I guess the healing could be combined. I guess the healing could be combined. That's I was wrong. Yeah, I think Alexander the Great and Richard are a great pair, actually. I think that's a great pairing. Um, Richard gives Alexander the Great the staying power that he needs. I really like that pairing a lot. I take it all back. Alexander the Great and Richard are an awesome pair. That is an awesome pair. 
Okay, let's do this. I think we did everything we wanted to do over here. Um, oh, wow, we got another pattern. Boom, let's go combine this. I think we did everything we wanted to do here. Let's head over to Chiskool Lives and do a couple things here. Let's get a couple things done over here. And then maybe we'll go back to Chiskool. I don't know what's left to do on Chiskool. We'll get a look. Where is King Talib? Um, King Talib is still in Kingdom 39. I don't know how long he'll be in Kingdom 39. I believe he's joining us in Kingdom 75, which is going to be awesome. Uh, oh, look at that. Good timing. We have two minutes left on this quarry. So we're in the kill event here. We're in the kill event, which is pretty tough, uh, of the Mighty Governor. We can't farm, which really sucks. We really want to be farming right now. So that's kind of a bummer. We desperately need resources. And uh, yep, is what it is. Is what it is. Hey, Chiskul, how much do you like to see Persia as a civilization? That sounds cool. What, what would you make their bonuses? Chiskul, get Greaves of the Exile. We could do that. We could definitely do that. Um, I wonder if we could do some crafting over here, too. This will be kind of interesting how far we could get on Chiskul Lives. What's the best bundle to buy for the most VIP points? Uh, I think the bundles offer roughly the same amounts of VIP. I'd have to really think about that to figure out what the best bundle is for VIP. Let's do this. Let's go in. We've got to do the keys. We have 50 keys. I say we open them all at once. Is King of Armenia coming to 75? Yes. King of Armenia is coming to 75. I say we open all 50 keys at once and see how this goes. So here we are. Here we go. 50 keys. Open all. I think this was just okay. I got a glance at it. So experience tomes are really good for us at this point. And even the epic stars are good. The dazzling starlights are good. Um, four Osman, four Bybars is fine. Uh, we would have loved to have gotten more Boudicca. And I'd love to have gotten more Joan of Arc. Did I get any Joan of Arc? No. Ooh, three full Joan of Arc. Okay, okay, that's good. Can you win against King Talib? I mean... Maybe in a one-on-one -on -one duel? I don't know. His commanders are really good. Uh, Cleo, El Cid, Charles Martel, Tao Tao. I mean, this was... I feel like this was really pretty mediocre. This was not an amazing 50 keys. This is not an amazing 50 keys. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. We do actually need the Cleos. We do actually need the Cleos. So that's not the worst. Let's go in here and power up some commanders. Looks like there's only a couple we can even do. So Joan of Arc, we can put another skill on. That's cool. Ooh, Mysterious Merchant. Good timing. Here we go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, and I could put more skills on her, but I'm just going to wait for now. Uh, Pelagius, we could definitely drop a skill onto him, which is great. And that was it with our 50 keys, actually. We have Richard summonable. We haven't summoned him yet. If Talib was not zeroed, he would be at 300 million power now. Yes, he would be. Yes, he would be. So over here, we buy all the resources that are 90% off. We are not spending resources on basically anything else, only because there's an event right now for buying 20 things in the shop. Are we going to do that? And we buy the 90% off resources again. I guess we could just buy this because... We need to make sure we got the 20 purchases of stuff. We'll buy this. And I think we're good now. I think we got it. Ottoman Empire. So we're 20 out of 20 for items purchased here. You got another skill up on Pelagius available? Really? Did I miss that? Oh, yeah. I completely missed that. Awesome. This is good. Pelagius is a commander I really like. Okay. Cool. So now that we've done that, we can claim all these goodies. Uh, what else do we need to do here? We could stand to use all these tokens, which is good. Our VIP is looking pretty good on this account. We do need to build something, but all I can build, I like don't have resources. I guess I just do a farm. This is like all I can do right now. Um, and we can claim the scrolls, our daily gift. 
even in this account, we did not buy the upgraded pack here. I don't know. Maybe I should have. How do you... How do you... How do I spell your name? I keep getting it wrong. I remember you saying it once. Okay, so my name is pronounced Chisgool. Chisgool. That originates from World of Warcraft, by the way. I was making a troll warrior. Ooh, another gold key. Sweet. Troll warrior. Ugh, those were the days. Those were truly the days. Wow, five Julius Caesar. That was really good. That was really, really good. Okay. Nice. Thanks for giving is coming. Awesome. Feel good about that. Now, crafting-wise, where do we sit? Where do we sit? Let's make sure we use all our crafting-related stuff. Uh, we can open these magic boxes. We can open the 28 Treasures of the Warrior Queen. That's awesome. And 25 Treasures of the Warrior. Two Golden Age, two Cloud Racers, five Greaves of the Exile, ten Staff of the Lost. Troll Hunter is what you played, George Corcus? Nice. Nice. You didn't play on Doomhammer by chance, did you? <laughs> uh, 84 of these gray chests and 33 of the green chests. And let's see how we can do here. Let's see how we can do. We can combine a blueprint, which I'll go and do. And it would be pretty transformative for my garrison. Let's get a look at the garrison here. I feel like it'd be pretty good for my garrison if we could get something better on the Sun Tzu. Where are you at, buddy? Sun Tzu. So, I mean, he's looking pretty decent, actually. Um, but a better weapon would be amazing. I kind of want to go for the weapon. I also kind of want to go for the pants. But let's start with the weapon, because that would be pretty game-changing. If we go into here and we go to our materials, do we think we can get there? We need 30 feathers. I think we can do 30 feathers. That would be 120 of the feathers to pull that off at the green level. And then we combine this. So we have our 30 feathers. So we're good there. But this is going to be interesting. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. We need 60 of these. Uh, we're not quite there. We're really close. We're really close, but we're not quite there. All right. We'll have to come back for that. We'll have to come back for that. Not today. Not today is what we say to death and also that piece of gear we wanted to make. Okay. Cool. Craft more siege units. Definitely. We'll just do that till reset. Boom. All right, fam. What questions do you have before we wrap this thing up? What do you got for me? What do you got? Bybars is awesome. Osman Belisarius as well. Any tips for what to do in the Lost Kingdom? Um, make sure you're spending all your action points to get honor. Honor's really good. Chiskel, is it better to have a low-level armor on all commanders or wait it out so you can make blue or purple armor? Make green and blue armor. The purple stuff's really expensive. Only if you're a rally leader should you be thinking about the purple gear. Um, then I would start to actually shift over to purple. And if you're free to play and you're only sending one or two marches to the battlefield, then I would make sure that you max out the gear on those one or two marches rather than like going all over the place. Why is your city so ugly? You know, I haven't done anything with it yet. I know there's no trees. I got to plant some trees. I got to, I got to plant some trees. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We got to, we got to plant some trees. We got to do a beautification effort of that account. All right, we're going to heal up our archers. And we are actually, we should do some gathering here. I mean, when I leave this kingdom, I will give my resources to somebody who is here. So I, I mean, like gathering is still a valuable activity for me to be doing. Um, yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Boom. All right. I migrated to Kingdom 1417 to 1075. Awesome. Will I have a chance to get Alexander the Great? I don't know. He'd have to show up in a Card King probably. So you might have lost the opportunity at Alexander the Great, but you will get all the newest commanders faster, which might be just better anyways, the way that uh, new commanders seem to work out these days. So I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. 
For instance, on the wheel over there is Takeda. And Takeda's a beast. Takeda is a total beast. How much of a beast? To be determined. But I think he's pretty good. I don't know. I just keep going back on this first skill, either sucking or being amazing. <laughs> I just don't know. Attila will be cool. What do we got here? Normal attack damage bonus, counter attack damage bonus. So he's got anti-swarm. And for the next four seconds, you do this. And you reduce the enemy's attack, which is pretty good. What do we have here? When attacking garrisons, you get a damage bonus and a defense reduction. Skill damage against troops led by Attila is reduced. So he takes less skill damage, which is really good. And the skill damage dealt by his troops is also reduced. Okay. Increased cavalry units, march speed, and attack. 40% attack is insane. When the army led by Attila contains only cavalry, normal attacks have a chance to increase his troops' all damage dealt for the next two turns. There's a 25% chance to do 50% extra damage and a 25% chance to do 100%. Wow. Bonus damage? That's insane. If that goes off with a skill attack, that would just be insane. Troops led by Attila are immune to silence effects. That's so good. Against enemy troops with less than 50% strength, increased damage dealt 20%. Yeah, that's so good. This commander is going to be so good for rallying stuff. Increased march speed by 50% for 3 seconds after leaving battle. I mean, he does it all. This is truly the counter to Wu Zetian. It's right here. This is the counter to Wu Zetian. Um, who would you use with Attila is a really good question. Who would you use with Attila to counter Wu Zetian? Um, I mean, you got choices. You really do care about skill attacks here. And it's got to be... See, hmm. I'm inclined to believe that, like, Saladin is your best bet. I'm inclined to believe Saladin primary is your best bet here. You have so much anti-swarm technology with a Saladin primary. I think this is how the rally would go. Like Saladin primary. And even though Saladin does skill damage and it's going to be decreased, I think Attila is just so good you just don't care. And it's possible that Takeda will be such a good pairing that like that's the play, but I just don't know. I just don't know. All right, fam. You want to see my Pelagius build? We can do that, and then I think we're going to head out. We could do that, and then we're going to head out. Pelagius build. Um, that's not a build. There it is. This is what we're using here. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed hanging out in this live stream. Checking out all the good stuff going on in Kingdom 39, 75, 15, 14. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like and subscribe. It means a lot to me as a content creator. And until next time, you have fun smashing the Kingdom. <laughs>